This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Today I'm going to show you how to bring in an image into Creo Elements and then to trace that image and create an extrusion out of it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Extrude, Placement, Define. We're going to define the front datum plane. Click Sketch and it'll come in. Now we're going to use, I can use a line tool or, or a rectangle. At this point in time I'm just going to use a rectangle. It's quicker for me. So I come across like such, like so. Click that click OK, go back into the AB isometric view, default view, grab it and bring it all the way past to this side. This size doesn't matter, it just has to be a solid on that side. Then I click OK. Now the very next thing I do is I go into View, Into Appearance Gallery, Edit Model Appearances, click on Map, then click on this image, bring up Image, then click this box and now locate an image that you want to use. Mine is in here it's a rotation, I've, I've changed it. Now what you want to do is you click close and you come up here and if it's not already chosen you come down you click model and it'll come up like this. You click the model then you click the surface you want to paint. I want to paint this surface. Click OK and there comes in our Lamborghini. Now what we want to do is we want to go back into the model tab click extrude, placement, and define and this time be sure to make sure you define this plane, not the front face. This plane. Otherwise it'll join. Then you click sketch. You bring it into the view. Now you can use all different tools here. You can use straight line tools, but you're going to trace it. I'm going to make it simple. Right now I'm not going to use any splines or arcs or anything. I'm just going to follow it as, as best I can just for this demonstration. But like I say, you can take your time and make sure it's done to perfection. Okay, coming across here you could easily have used arcs, same with here, I'm just going to copy straight lines down, but you can see how you would follow that along, straight down, down, now of course we've got to make sure we bring it back to join the box, click on line, now it'll go into the isometric view, I'm putting in the isometric view, when you click OK, it's going to fail, first thing I want to do is you're going to bring this box in just a little bit so it's inboard, about a couple of millimeters, you see right here, then, then when we click OK, it's going to say it's failed, which is fine. Just click OK. Now what you do is you grab the, this extrusion, extrusion number 6, which is the one we just did, and lift it up above extrusion number 5. And that should bring up your car. Now what you want to do is you click on extrusion 5 and you'll see the box is highlighted. What you can do right now is just suppress that. You don't want to delete it, just suppress it. You can always bring it back later. Now, what you would do here is you would go through and you would do all the different things to this side of the car that you wanted to do. You could round it, you could put some chamfers on it, you could use all of these different tools. When you're finished that, you just do one side of the car. When you're completely finished it, you would just mirror image. You would click this button here, then you would click mirror, tell it where to mirror image it from. I want to mirror image it from this. Click OK, and then you'd have your solid car. Okay, 